Let's subtract these two fractions. Here again, our operation is subtraction, and notice we do not have the same denominators, so we must first take a step and write each fraction as an equivalent fraction, but with the same denominator. The denominator we'll use is the least common denominator. In this case, it will be the product of these two denominators, or 7x. So we need to write each fraction as an equivalent fraction, but with a denominator of 7x. So let's ask ourselves, 7 times what factor gives me a product of 7x? Well, 7 times x gives me a product of 7x, and if I multiply the denominator by x, I must do the exact same thing in the numerator. Now I'll rewrite my minus sign, and then I have 3 over x, and we'll do the exact same thing. What do we multiply this denominator by in order to have a common denominator of 7x? Well, I'll multiply it by 7. And if I multiply the denominator by 7, I must multiply the numerator by 7 also. Now let's see what we have here. We have 1 times x, which is 1x, or simply x, over 7x, minus 3 times 7 is 21 over 7x. So what have we accomplished? We now have the same denominators. So we now have the right to say x numerator minus 21 other numerator over a common denominator of 7x. And there's our difference.